Well, Christmas has finally arrived, and Santa Claus has a busy night ahead of him. <laughs> he was able to come to the KTAP studio today to tell us all about your plans for tonight. Santa, are you ready for this big night? Oh, we're ready. We've been doing a lot of last-minute things, but we're all ready to go. We've got lots of toys for lots of good little children and boys. And I have to ask, you know, just like preparing for a marathon or something else, how do you prepare for this big night? <laughs> Well, Santa has to do all the preparation and planning, but Mrs. Claus helps him by keeping him in shape, not feeding him too many cookies, but we get ready to go, and, and we get ready by making a list and checking it twice. <laughs> and I have to ask, you know, cookies are a big part of what you do. I love leaving cookies out for Santa Claus. <laughs> what would you say your favorite cookie is, though? Well, you know, the thing is, Santa likes just about every cookie you can make. Uh, whether it's a sugar cookie or chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin or, or just plain chocolate or vanilla, Santa likes them all. There, and children throughout the world do all sorts of different cookies. You know, over in Scandinavia, they make a cookie called Kringla, which is mm. kind of a vanilla cookie. It looks like a pretzel. It's a very soft cookie with a hint of lemon. Delicious. Yummy. In China, they make a type of cookie that's made with meringue and, and coconut, and that's delicious, too. But uh, any cookie you make, Stacy, will be just fine by me. Well, Santa, you may have to bring some of those cookies from other parts of the world and let us try them out. We might do that. Sound really good. And, and you know, some people leave stuff out for your reindeer as well. What are the reindeer like? Oh, the reindeer, of course, like carrots and apples and bell pepper. They like anything that's a vegetable, especially green vegetables and some yellow vegetables like carrots and squash. And I have to ask, you know, my dog was really hard to train. She's doing pretty good, but I want to know how you train your reindeer. They do such great work and they stay focused and they really work for you. Well, we've been training these reindeer for a very long time, but it takes a little sprinkle of mm -hmm. Santa magic too to get them to do just exactly what we need them to do. So maybe I need a little bit of Santa's <laughs> magic for that. And, you know, what are the big toys this year that kids are asking for? Well, of course, a lot of the old standby toys are being asked for. Lincoln Logs, even the uh, uh, Connects and all of those type of things. You have lots of dolls. Lots of girls are asking for dolls, like baby dolls and LOL dolls and, and uh, Barbie dolls. Those are kind of the, the standby. Here in Texas, sports gear is the thing that they like the best, it seems like. Lots of baseball gear and football and and softball and, and girls basketball type things. There are lots of things that the, that the children are asking for that are sports related. And of course, Sam has given us a great forecast for Christmas Day, so they're gonna be able to get out there and play with those toys. And something I always asked is, when I was little, we didn't have a chimney at our home, so how did you get into our house? Well, it's a secret that Santa has. Okay. It's a secret special key that opens the door but Santa can go through even the smallest of holes. And if you look at the top of your house, there's a little pipe up there at the top mm -hmm. of the house. Santa can go through there. It's a little magic that he uses to get through to the house. And what's your plans for after Christmas? I mean, do you vacation at all? <laughs> yes, Santa likes to take a vacation, likes to come to Texas for vacation. Or also go to New Mexico, maybe do a little skiing and, uh, and okay. do a little fishing. That's things that Santa likes to do. <laughs> well, of course, you're welcome in Abilene anytime. We love having you here, Santa. I guess before we go to the break, any special words for the good boys and girls out there before you visit them tonight? Keep being good and remember, always remember, Santa loves you and you're loved. <laughs> All right, Santa, thank you so much for stopping by. Still to come on KTAB for you, we'll learn how...